All right, welcome back. Time now for our two-minute drill. Joining us now, NFJ Investment Group Chief Investment Officer John Mowry. We'll get to your picks. It's nice to see you. But first, a thought on this rally, whether you think it is sustainable in any way or not. Great to see you again, Scott. Uh, a couple of things I would say about the rally. We have been bullish on the equity markets, as you may recall from our last conversation. A uh, couple of things I would say, um, you know, the Fed has now moved into uh, QT, and they're going to ramp up to $95 billion a month uh, in terms of the bonds they're going to buy back. What's interesting about that is it'll take uh, five years for them to take off the five trillion they pumped in since the start of the pandemic. Um, I don't know, know about you, but I'm pessimistic that they'll get that far. So when you think about the fact that it'll take uh, that long for them to pull out all of that money and that you've already wiped off 10 trillion from the capitalization of the equity market, we think we do have a floor here. And secondarily, I would say that if we do come out with a negative GDP print, I would personally uh, like to see that because I think that markets will get more incrementally positive because you'll probably see the Fed have to tap on the brakes if that occurs. OK, so your thesis is very much built on the great pivot that the Fed is going to make. I hear you. A lot of people think the same way. Let's do your picks. Skyworks, uh, interesting place to be right now. Yes, we like the semis. A couple of things I would say you're getting Skyworks eight times earnings over a 2 percent dividend yield healthy dividend growth, uh, and their biggest customers are Apple and Samsung, so they're tied to that smartphone market. Uh, a couple of things I would say that is really interesting about Skyworks is that the uh, majority of their uh, profits and revenues actually come from the emerging markets, and we're actually bullish on the emerging markets. China actually is easing, not tightening, one of the few uh, large economies that's doing that. And in addition to that, Scott, you're getting the emerging markets at the steepest discount to develop markets in 25 years. You've got to go all the way back to 98 and 01 to see emerging markets this deeply discounted. And okay. the, the long dollar trade is uh, long in the tooth, I would argue, and that emerging markets will benefit, and so will Skyworks if that breaks. What about Alexandria Real Estate? I don't think we've talked about that ever. A-R-E okay. is the ticker. I like it. I picked one you hadn't seen. That's great. So uh, it is an office REIT. So who likes office REITs? No one goes to, to, to the office anymore. Uh, in addition to that, it's a biotech office REIT. So it has biotech, life sciences, but there are many of the customers you might know, J&J, &J, Amgen, Moderna. What's fascinating about it is, is many of the biotech stocks have been Pelotoned over the last year. And Amgen, or excuse me, and uh, ARE has been caught up in this. ARE, what's so interesting is that uh, they have very high collection rates. Their uh, clients can't move easily. They have to be in strategic locations close to universities like San Diego or Boston. Mm -hmm. And you can't just pick up and move a lab because of the protocols and procedures needed to run those laboratories to another office building. So they have very high collection rates. And with a 3% yield and an attractive FFO, we see this as a buy. All right. And lastly, Garmin. Tell me why about that one. Garmin. Garmin is a company I love because it's a great example of an evolution of a traditional company that was, you know, predominantly uh, GPS devices on a car when you went to go rent one. Uh, today, it's marine, it's aviation, and it's fitness, smartwatches. And if you look at this company, you're getting a company that has uh, a lot of elasticity of demand because of those customer segments. And the fitness segment in particular, Scott, is actually growing quite quickly. It was up 50% year over year. Uh, the company just initiated a $300 million buyback program, sports nearly a 3% dividend yield. So we like right. Garmin. And the last thing I would say is banks have come out and said, hey, the consumer looks a little bit better than we thought. That will also mm -hmm. benefit a name that is squarely in the consumer discretionary sector. All right. We've got to bounce. I'll see you soon, John. Thank you.